Hello there, can you hear us okay? Just step forward and we'll begin. Great, first off, let's introduce ourselves. My name is Timothy and I'll be conducting your audition with the help of my colleagues Mia and Bert. The important thing here is just to be yourself. Let's start off with some basic movement if you don't mind. You'll notice a checklist will appear on the left of your screen in a few moments. It's a rudimentary prototype of what we want in the final game. Forgive the poor quality of it, we only had a short amount of time to whip it up. That's great, well done. Um, just one thing, you are unable to see your feet, right? That is true, right? Of course they can't see their feet. They don't need to see their feet. They're not, we're not doing a third person game here. <clears throat> Moving right on, pardon the pun. Just do them in your own time. I understand this feels a little bit too basic, but if you don't mind just getting through it all, that'd be great. We're hoping to use this model for a tutorial level at the beginning of the game, though likely a little less comprehensive. Nice work, keep it up. Ah yes, this one might feel a little basic, but it's important for us to get a good understanding of your movement. This will be nice and simple, so don't worry too much. I don't understand what this has to do with anything. We need to get to the shooting. Bring out the big guns. What on earth are you talking about? Guns, explosions, kabooms. We need to see action, excitement, running around, blasting people to smithereens. Gamers today only have short attention spans, you know. What's that got to do with our game? It's got nothing to do with shooting. Are you joking? The game is all shooting. No, it's not. It's a challenging puzzle game. Guys, please, can we just concentrate? Well done. Please wait a second while we change the set for the next audition piece. Okay, we're going to run through some demos of a few of our older games. We want to see how you work within our different game environments. Bert will introduce the scenario. Oh no, look. Your snail girlfriend is stuck up there on that rock. Try to reach her. This is one of my favourite games. I hate this game. It's too flowery and sweet. Well, that's why it's so good. <sighs> if you do get it wrong, use the reset option. No trouble. Well done, that's the idea. You're nearly there. Brilliant! Wonderful. Good use of the physics engine there. They'll come in very handy in our new game. Oh wait! This isn't your snail girlfriend. I guess your girlfriend must be <laughs> in another castle. An important skill for a first person character to have is shooting. This is a demo of one of our sci-fi games. Just try to shoot as many targets with the paint gun. Targets are worth one point and you get five points for the spaceship. You need to get to a hundred. Best of luck. What is going on here? What is with this music? Is, is it a reference to something? It just doesn't match what's going on. Uh, to, to change it to something else. Oh, I've got just the thing. This is so much worse. Forget the music, you guys. Let's just get on with it. Well done. Now for this level, you have to shoot the robots, and then they will shoot back. Don't worry, it's only paint, so it won't hurt you. If you do get hit though, please give us your most dramatic death. 
Oh, that's part of our microtransaction model. That's really supposed to only be in the final shipped product. Um, can we just give them some more paintballs? One second. I know a cheat code for this. Okay, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Oh, that's far too many. Oh well, you should have more than enough paint in your gun for this now. Good luck. Okay, get ready for your big death scene. Ha, <laughs> this is my favourite part. Destroy. Well, that was an anticlimax. It's a good job we've got a different guy for the cutscenes. Well, <clears throat> uh, on to the next audition piece. Okay, so this is a demo from one of our older games. Simple setup, work out what to feed the animals, and feed them. This was one of my favourite games. I hate this one. If you do get it wrong, just use the R button to reset it all. I'm not 100% sure if rabbits eat that. Try restarting. Hey, don't fall in the tank, bozo. Nice, that'll keep them happy. Watch out, they get a little bitey. Is it ethical feeding them worms? I'm not sure. Yeesh, did we fire the guy who modelled those? I think they like that, so you download the extra skins pack. Ah. Oh. Wonderful, good work there. Perfect. Hey, does that hamster look right to you? Hate rabbits. Only good for hunting. But oh, they all so cute. Oh, there's nothing to feed the snakes. What do we do? Feed them the dodgy dead hamster. That's barbaric. No, wait. That's perfect. It can be a moral choice. Will you feed it the hamster, or will you decline? That's so perfect for the end of this challenge. What are you going to do? Ah! Wow, that's stone cold. Man, there's got to be an achievement for that. I thought we were doing achievements. Did you not turn them on? No. Oh, yes, of course. Okay, you've done really well so far. Some of the best work I've seen from anyone. We're going to bring you into our last challenge now. Right, this is a demo version of a final boss level for one of our games, Mighty Kraken. For this one, you're on your own. Just use everything you've learnt and your ingenuity to complete it. Once you're done, we'll be making our decision regarding your audition, so no holding back. We should mention that your gun won't have any effect on the Kraken, but he is able to kill you. Oh, yeah, try not to get killed. You'll be able to respawn if you are, but you will have to start again. So, good luck. Shoot the ghost!
close. Yeah, do it, do it. Up there. Shoot the stalactite. Shoot it now. That was amazing. Perfectly done. Ten out of ten. I think our decision is unanimous. We will definitely be interested in seeing you again. We'll be in contact with you soon. Thank you, and once again, congratulations.